Recording. Hey friend, in this tutorial, we're gonna be painting a deep, vibrant blue whale. Humpback or blue whale, we're not really sure. Drop in the comments below which one it is, because we actually don't know. <laughs> so if you have been dying to paint and learn how to paint a whale of sorts, this one is super fun. I'm teaching you how to sketch it, drop in the color with wet and wet, and add in some of the details with wet and dry. We're gonna use white gouache. We're gonna use deep, dark blues. It's really beautiful and fun. Along with that, I am currently working on my third book, Everyday Watercolor Oceans, which comes out in summer 2022, I believe. So I've been painting all the sea creatures. Also, we just posted on my YouTube community board what you guys wanted to see in our tutorials. A lot of you guys said animals, so I'm really excited to start introducing more animal tutorials and we're starting or kicking it off with this whale tutorial. Fun stuff all around, if you're ready. Let's dive in. Okay, so in <laughs> what? It's just weird. I don't know what I was saying. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful deep blue whale. Um, but first, I already have my sketch down on my watercolor paper, but because I don't want the sketch to show through my watercolor, it's very, very light. I just used an HB pencil. I need new pencils. Like I've had this for years and I can't find my good drawing pencils, but an HB pencil or a 2B pencil will work good. Um, but to kind of give you an idea of how the sketch went, um, I pulled up a reference photo of a whale that I wanted to draw. Um, and, but basically we're just going for shapes and curves. So start lightly with the simple curves of the animal or the subject that you're drawing. So for, in this case, it would be a whale. So we're gonna start with a C curve. And then the top, we're gonna start here with an S curve. And we're gonna kind of taper off. I know you're like, this doesn't look like a whale, but that's the point. It doesn't look like a whale to begin, it's just the curves. And then right where these, the C curve and this S curve meet is where we're gonna pull out the eye line or the line of the mouth of the humpback whale. And if I were to kind of have a guide of where the eye would be, we're gonna go back around here and just frame the eye with this little dip here. C curve situation. And so it's kind of hovering in there. And then since we're tapering off to like, kind of like a spear to the tail, we're gonna have our tail come out. We're gonna pull an S curve out for each side of the tail. I came too close to the edge of the paper, but. And then kind of like the top of a heart for each side of the tail. And then for our fins, we're also gonna add a fin here. So that's just a C curve and a C curve, really short, small C curve. And then I'm just pulling out a C curve here where the end of the mouth is for this fin that's closer to me and this one. So then when I am ready to go back over that, I'm just going in and adding, you know, little bumps, details that I wanna pull out. Maybe the lip is more accentuated or this kind of dips in, give him more texture on top. And pull out the lines or the contour of the whale instead of just having obviously just like C curves and S curves. So start really light with your C curves and then I would go in and I would erase my C curves once I get my contour right. But basically all you're doing is you're drawing a really big C curve, like a banana or a boat, um, to cover the majority of the width of your paper. And I've got it horizontally. And then you're gonna go on top of that C curve and pull out an S curve that tapers to the end of the body of the whale. And then with these S curves here for your fins on either side, and then you can pull for where the top curve and bottom curve meet, you can pull out the mouth of the whale with a straight line and then dip down for the eye. And to draw the eye, we're just doing an, a C curve here. 
C curve here. And then leaving a little, a little highlight like that. Pretty simple. Okay. I've also added some little uh, cir circles, little bumps that I'm going to leave white. Maybe some of them I'll go in and add some dark blue on top once it dries for wet and wet or wet and dry. Um, so draw in those circles kind of close to the mouth. There's a lot of texture on the whale. And we're gonna start with using wet and wet painting first because that's gonna give us that beautiful blend and burst of dark, rich blue color. Um, once we, I'm getting rid of all of the guidelines that I had, um, like what I was just showing you so that they don't show through my sketch. Um, but I'm gonna start with just water on my size six brush and I'm going to wet the entire whale except for the eye and maybe a couple of the bumps that I sketched in towards the mouth um, cause I want those to stay white, some of them. Um, but I'm gonna start with the tail area and as I go along, I'm gonna gradually start adding color as I go along because we're gonna be using wet and wet painting I wanna make sure that it stays really wet as I'm going through the whale. So about every two inches or so of wet area, I'm coloring in or painting in my lines with water only, but about every two-ish inches or so, I'm gonna grab Prussian blue. And I kind of want to show a gradient or a fade from dark blue to light blue on the body of the whale closer to the mouth, but the fin or the tail, I'm probably just going to have as dark blue. You can use a reference photo if you would like to have a guide of how to color your whale, but I'm just going off of vibe that I want. Got like Prussian blue with a touch of sap green in it. And as you can see, this is, the wet area and so the blue is just going to gradually blend into it and I might go in and add some manganese blue for some turquoise towards the bottom here to mix it up and then I'm just going to grab a clean dry brush and mix those in a little bit better and then continue my way on the other side of the tail with water, just water, but we obviously have blue over here that's creeping into it, which is good because we're painting a blue colored whale. If you have too much water on your brush or the area that you're painting, it's gonna create a wall of water that's gonna block the colors from mixing and blending and bursting. So if you don't want that to happen, then just make sure you don't have too much on your brush, too much water to start. Camera guy just wants to say something. Yes. Big fan of these blues. Uh -huh. Prussian blue, manganese blue, big fan. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog. Hot dog? <laughs> Hot whale. Hot. Uh. <laughs> that got weird quick. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, this isn't blending very smoothly. So all you got to do while it's still wet is just dry, whoop, clean off and dry off your brush and just do these little circular motions. But we want to make sure we're moving quickly because we don't want this edge to dry before bringing it down with water. So now I'm going to grab more water on my brush and pull this turquoise area down. Into the rest of the tail and into the body of the whale. And remember, I wanna go dark blue to light blue from the top of the whale down. So I'm going to just kind of guide that turquoise line to be the, it's manganese blue, but turquoise line to be the kind of the underbelly color of the whale. You could do just really light Prussian blue if you want, 
but I kind of like this pop of color here. And then at the top, I'm going to grab a really dark blue. So I might add some Mars black to my Prussian blue sap green mixture for this top edge. And you can go through and pull, pull your tech, uh, pull your colors with water using wet and wet, or you can push like I'm pushing right now. And now I'm pulling the color down. Just talked about that in the beginner's guide. And yes, we just talked about that in the beginner's guide to watercolor. So if you're very new to wet and wet painting or you don't really understand what you're doing when you're painting with wet and wet then check it out so always making sure that my edges stay really wet and we're coming to the area of the whale where we have a fin. So I'm going to make sure that this edge of the fin is really dark. So that's really popping forward and it's not just blending in. So I'm going to grab and make this blend right now for a smooth blend to create a shadow. And then as I come down into the fin, I'm just gonna grab water so that it stays relatively light. And I'm gonna accentuate this edge of the fin with wet and dry once this whale dries. Very fun colors. Big fan. Big fin. <laughs> I want this dark line right here to be a little bit smoother of a blend, so I'm going to dry off my brush and just kind of smooth it out. Another fun thing you can do to your whale is just drop in some water drops. It's a fun texture when it dries, like a spider web texture. And whales are very textury. Got a lot of lines, bumpies. So now we're heading into the eye area. I want to make sure to be really careful around the eye. And I'm going to outline the lip or the where the mouth crease is. So I'm just going around the eye with my light, light blue wash. And I'm gonna do that part later once the whale dries. And same thing with this lip area. I'm gonna use a dark blue to make that pop too. You can avoid some of these little bubbly areas where you want to add texture, or I'm going to just save it for adding gouache later on, white gouache. Or you can add a dark blue instead of white. And I'm going to pull this blue.
really light as I get closer to the belly or the mouth actually. Bottom of the mouth. You got big, big mouths, big tongues. You have a little bit of a personal fear with whales, don't you? I do. See how that's drying? That's fun. <laughs> Sorry, I was just so abrupt. I know. Um, yeah, John is right. I do not. I have a fear of swimming in the deep ocean with whales. It's a very specific fear. <laughs> uh, they are just so large. I know that they're friendly and whatnot. Most of them, I think. I don't know. But growing up at the beach, I never liked going out too far because I just, it just freaks me out, wigs me out, like just having a large body where they could just open their mouth and think that they're just going to suck in some krill, but I happen to get sucked in too. Mm. So. <laughs> that, I mean, that would be terrible. It would. So I avoid the deep sea swimming. Love swimming. Don't get me wrong. Love swimming in the ocean. And would you also say that you love whales? I do. It's just... <laughs> I just don't want to get accidentally eaten. Eden. Eden. <laughs> Does this fear come from a place? Probably the story of Jonah. Oh. <laughs> so he survived it. Yeah, but he was also God's messenger. I don't know if we have the same faith. <laughs> Bible nerd talk. Okay, so still avoiding that eye area, but I'm just blending, making sure this is all blending really nicely. And while things are still wet, might go over that line, the mouth line area, so that it has like a fun uh, blendy texture to it. And then we'll go over it once it's dry with a crisp line. And then whales kind of have these like... Is this a humpback or a blue? Dude, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously very distinct whales, but the difference between a humpback and a blue whale... No. Maybe a humpback whale is more gray. They definitely have a hump on their back. <laughs> Hence the name. I've seen humpback whales many times. Are they more gray? Dude, I think so. Why don't you know more about whales? I should. I've, I grew up in the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to add more black up here. Just because. This is definitely not a beluga. <laughs> or a killer whale. Orca. Orca, sorry. Actually, I really don't know if that's a, a thing. Now we need to paint in the background. Fin. This one's going to be a little darker because it's being like it's behind. It's back further. <laughs> Having a hard time talking. And now we wait for it to dry. I might go over this fin and make it a little bit darker so it doesn't stand out so much. I'm just going to start with some water. Little Prussian blue, little Mars black. And just kind of fade the color with water towards the edges of the fin. I'm 
maybe bring up some lines like we did over here. Okay, now we're gonna wait for it to dry and we're gonna add in our detail. All right, so our, <clears throat> our whale is dry. I had to use the blow dryer to speed things up or you can just wait if you have time. Uh, but for the eye details, the little line we're gonna put to make the mouth pop and then some line details on the, on the belly, we're gonna use the size two brush. Um, and I'm also gonna go in and add dark blue, little like bumpy details around the mouth with that as well. I was gonna do white, but I'm now deciding I want it to be just pure blue whale. Not that I think it's a blue whale. I don't know what it is. We can Google that. We also have a, a, a community of smart people. That can... We also have a community of smart, resourceful people that can Google it for us. Can someone tell us? Is this a blue whale or humpback? Neither. I think it's one of those. Yeah. I don't know though. Okay, so I'm grabbing Prussian blue and Mars black. I don't want it to be like straight up black for my dark lines uh, and for my eye. So I'm adding like just like a dark blue. And then I'm gonna use a vertical hold, like pretty much straight up and down and little to no pressure to outline the curve, that C curve on the top of the eye here. And then I'm going to add the eye itself and the little highlight so I know where to not paint. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add the bottom C curve like so. Hey there, cutie. Um, and then we'll outline the mouth. Just kind of follow where your shadow ended up. I'm gonna thicken some parts. Fun fact about the word whale. <laughs> Do you know what I'm gonna say? No. It was our son's first word. Oh, true. Yes. But to be totally honest and fair, it was like he said it once in the bathtub and then we freaked out and then he couldn't say it again. <laughs> <laughs> but it was definitely like he was in the bathtub and he said, whale. Mm -hmm. And we were like, He's a genius. <laughs> so now I'm just going in with a light Mars black Prussian blue mixture and adding in these darker belly lines. What was mouth, huh? Mouth belly lines. <laughs> we need to brush up on our whale studies. Clearly the Rainies aren't good at geography and whale anatomy. <laughs> or math. Or math. These videos are just really illuminating how dumb we are. We're not dumb. I'm just kidding. Thing is, math was my strongest subject at school. And then you just lose everything when you're out of practice. Just like, just like anything else. You can't lose what you don't have. That was me. <sighs> Never strong enough. I was an AP calculus. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what's five times 12? 60? Ah, sure. I mean, I'm doing the math in my head right now. This is how long it takes. <laughs> oh my gosh. 24 plus 24 is 48 plus another 12 60. is 60. There you go. Smarty pants. Not gonna win any speed competitions. No. Hey, man. Hi. Hi. Are you saying hi to the whale? No, you just said, hey, man. Oh. I was responding to you. Okay. Now grabbing Prussian blue and more Mars black for my 
dark little bumpies that I'm just going to use bloop, the side of my size two brush. So a slanted hold and just kind of some bigger ones. You know what? I'm going to use white too. I didn't want to say anything, but I was gonna. I, I was thinking it. I was thinking a little white detail might be fun. Mm -hmm. Still want the dark blue though, but I'm going to definitely do white up there where it's really dark blue because that's going to be some good contrast. So this is just designer white gouache by Winsor & Newton that I put in a jar <laughs> with a little bit of water. What? <laughs> there was some, some paint dust. And I'm gonna grab some clean water, clean-ish water, and a damp brush. And do the same thing I did with the dark blue. And just on the top here, I think. Some larger dots, some smaller dots. There we go. Maybe let's come down in here too. It's like he's got stars on his forehead. It's very cosmic. <laughs> I like it. Galaxy whale. Yeah. Cutie pie. I think I'd be okay with swimming with this guy. We can hang this in Miles' room. Aww. Cute. First word, painting. Very cute. Cute. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do some more white on the fins. Two. Just a couple dots, nothing crazy. Proceeds to go crazy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do that. For your dots, just kind of make sure they're, they gradually taper off so you don't get like a huge, just kind of square edge or block. You could add block, uh, blocks. Dots on this little, is that the hump back for the humpback whale? I don't know. No one Maybe on the fin, I think people know. <laughs> Maybe on the fin too, or what is this tail? <laughs> um, but there you have it. Have fun with it. Uh, hang this up in your kid's room or in your own room or not hang it up. Send it to your friend and that's their favorite animal. Yeah, there you go. But it's so fun to practice. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you did like this tutorial, please make sure you smash that like button. There's just some random people out there who decide that they want to put a damper on my J and hit the thumbs down button. Not sure why, it's okay. We love you anyways. But if you liked, did like this video, please smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the future animal tutorials and all the other tutorials that we have coming out very, very soon for you, twice a week tutorials. I also recently launch, launched a Patreon channel, so make sure you go check that out where I release Patreon-only monthly tutorials. We've got live art classes in there, all that good stuff, so check it out. And along with that, check out my books, Everyday Watercolor Books, if you don't already have them, and get ready for summer 2022 um, for my third book on all things oceans. And have a great day. Um, have a great day. See you in the next video.